hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i wanted to do a 24 ounce snow globe so if you want to know how that's done just stay tuned and keep on watching so you want to start by removing the sticker from the bottom um i got this i think it's a rhinestone tool i got it off of amazon and it's so easy just to melt through the cup just don't melt through the second layer and this is my way of putting my glitter inside the cup i kind of just have these measuring cups and i pinch the top and i just shake it also i like to put um a little bit of my the glycerin mixed with water in the cup so it helps with static and the degassing is much much easier that way this is what works for me so you want to go ahead and just shake it, keep tapping it until you get all your glitter down. Once you're done adding all your glitter and liquid, you want to go ahead and cover your hole. I like to test it out before I fully seal it. I use these furniture stoppers, furniture bumper stoppers, I think that's what they're called. I get them off of Amazon and I like to put the, I guess you could say like the part that's bigger <laughs> on the inside of the cup. And I also like to take off the sticky part to it because it does have like a stickiness on the bottom. I like to go ahead and take that off with rubbing alcohol. And I use UV resin to seal the bottom of my cups. I just carry it under a UV light of course. And I like to kind of make sure that it's fully around the hole. And I do, I believe I do like three layers because I do add like my name, my business name and my name at the bottom. I also like to take a small torch and pop any air bubbles. Um, just beware, UV resin, at least the one I use, it does have a smell to it. It's, pre it's a pretty strong smell. Um, I got it off of Amazon as well. I do really like it, I just don't like the smell, so just beware of that. I also like to cure it for 30 to 60 seconds. And at this point, I make sure it's fully covered and I go ahead and add just a little bit more. So at this part, I like to go ahead and make sure that the UV resin is all around the bottom rim of the cup. Add a little bit more if needed to. And again, you want to cure it for 30 to 60 seconds. So at this point, I like to add my information at the bottom. And I go ahead and add another layer of UV resin and I like to cure it for 60 seconds and then after I do another 30 seconds and I like to flip the cup upside down and leave it leave like a paper towel or a cup underneath just to see if it's leaking I have had these leak on me before and just to avoid that I like to double check So now I just like to make sure that everything is correctly sealed because like I said, I have had these leak on me before and that's something we're trying to avoid. So now I moved on to decals. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have noticed that this is not the same Winnie the Pooh. Same cup, not the same Winnie the Pooh. Every time I kept trying to layer it, it just wouldn't layer correctly no matter how many times I cut it, tried to fix it, resize it. It just wasn't working for me, so I went ahead and used a different Winnie the Pooh. And it ended up looking way better than I thought. So, yeah. For the purpose of the video, I still went ahead and added the Winnie the Pooh. Once I realized I didn't like it, I went ahead and took it off. And I added the one I previously had in mind. So once I'm done with that, I go ahead and prep my lid for rhinestones. I sand it with a 120 grit sanding block. For this particular cup, um, I don't have a design or a pattern for the rhinestones. I go ahead and just apply them. Um, and that actually ended up looking really, really beautiful. They look like little bees to me, so I really loved it. So 
I also saw this method on TikTok where I forgot who I saw it from. You put the lid upside down and you press down and it helps the rhinestones adhere to the lid a little bit better. And I have found that that actually does help a lot. So at this point, I'm pretty much done. I believe this is like the next day. Um, applying the rhinestones to the outside of the logo. Um, for this, I actually kind of did go in a pattern because as you can see, the honeycomb kind of overlaps the logo. And the poo jar kind of does too. So I kind of had a pattern and I just went around the entire thing. So as for my lid, I like to let it cure for about 72 hours just to make sure the glue dried up. Um, and I go ahead and bring it over to my sink. I wash it with the manicure brush and lukewarm water and soap. And I go ahead and scrub it um, just to remove any wax pen residue, oils from my hands, and glue. So for the rhinestones around the logo, I do not like to use the scrub method because these acrylic tumblers can get scuffed up very, very easily. Um, it has happened to me before and it makes it look extremely dull. So just to avoid that, go ahead and use a soft side sponge. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and turn on the notification bell just so you're notified when a new video is up. Thank you.